Baker Mayfield, he underwent an MRI today. He's going to get a second opinion. That's never a good sign. Second opinion comes when you didn't like the first one. And Baker Mayfield wants to play. And it very well may be that someone is telling him, you probably should go ahead and have surgery. This shoulder is going to keep popping out. It's going to keep getting injured. It's not going to get any better. Baker Mayfield wants to play. He wants to gut through it. He wants to prove he can do it because he doesn't have a second contract yet. And I don't fault him. I don't fault him for wanting to play. But he's dislocated the shoulder twice now in four weeks. It's getting worse, not better. And they play Thursday night. I think Case Keenum better be getting himself ready to play on Thursday night. And by the way, Case Keenum can get it done. So he, he may not have Nick Chubb. He's definitely not going to have Kareem Hunt, who has the calf injury and is, spe- is expected to miss several weeks. But Baker had better take care of this thing and do the smart thing. And just like with Dak Prescott, you get to a point where you have to step away from what you want and you have to do what you need to do. Yeah, Mike, you know, he partially tore that labrum in week two, and he's worn that harness on that left shoulder ever since. And I can't imagine playing with the harness. And again, NFL players are are as tough as anybody I know. I mean, I I will never question their toughness. And for him to get out there and play through that with a harness on his shoulder, I can't imagine that. But he's done it. But frankly, he hasn't played very well. He hasn't played up to the standards that the Browns expected. They're now sitting there at 3-3 three and three and facing a must-win on a Thursday night against a team that's beatable. They need a quarterback who can take the ball down the field, something he has not done, ranks near the bottom of passes 20 yards or more. He just hasn't done a good job of that and has thrown only six touchdowns. Case Keenum, to me, is the best option right now. I know Kevin Stefanski said that it will be a medical decision, may, intimated that it wasn't a performance-based decision, but th- to me, the two go hand-in-hand, hand, Mike, and Baker Mayfield is not getting it done. It's time for him to sit down, whether it's for this week only or for the season, and let Case Keenum see what he can do with this team. This is a really good team, but they need better quarterback play. Yeah, absolutely they do, and Case Keenum was very good. I know it's been four years ago, but he hasn't played much football since then. He was very good in Minnesota when Sam Bradford, two Sam Bradford mentions in one program, and we're not even 20 minutes of the way in. But when he got injured week one, after a great game against the Saints, they were getting ready to go to Pittsburgh and play the Steelers week two. All of a sudden, Bradford's knee acts up. It's Keenum the rest of the way, and he was excellent that year, and they made it to the NFC Championship. And they have a pretty good team around – The quarterback position now, they do need Nick Chubb back, who missed with a calf injury. And Kareem Hunt, as mentioned, is going to be out for several weeks with a calf injury of his own. They've got the Broncos on Thursday Night Football, mini by Pittsburgh Steelers, and at the Bengals. Critical stretch coming up for a team that is 3-3. And, And, uh, hey, as good as the defense was against the Bears and the Vikings, it's been abysmal the past couple of weeks. And I'm starting to think maybe – The Browns is the Browns all over again, Shireen. They've got to prove themselves on Thursday night at home and then hope that they can win one or two of those games coming up against rivals from their division uh, because uh, they got a long road. And they'll have a bye week until week 13. So uh, to the extent that some guys just need a little rest, they're not getting it for a while. Yeah, and that's the thing. They are so banged up. Uh, Odell Beckham obviously has that shoulder injury as well. I mean, it looks like the running backs this week will be Dearness Johnson and Demetri Felton. I mean, that's not what they expected when they started the season, but it's what they're left with. And they may have Case Keenum, and they may have to do what they can to will and gut this one out on Thursday night. But, Mike, they need to win a couple of these games uh, to, to stay in the wild card race. We're not even talking about the division. I think they have no chance to win the division. But just to stay in the wild card race, they've got to win a couple games here. Yeah, absolutely. And who would have thought that they would be potentially falling off with the Steelers, who right now yeah. have the same record as the Cleveland Browns. And who would have dreamed just a couple of weeks ago that the Browns and the Steelers would be even in the stands? It shows how quickly it can change. You go from 3-1 and one and 1-3 one and three to 3-3 three and three and 3-3. Three and three. It changes fast in the NFL, and we'll see if the Browns can get back on the horse and get a win against the Denver Broncos. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.